So today we're actually going to be going over the line tool. Okay. And the part we're going to make is this part right here. Okay. So it's just kind of like an L shape. Now, um, as soon as you start the file, I want you to save it. This is how we're going to save files from now on. So the first, you'll put your period number. So I put zero, but you'll put like two, five, six, seven, eight, whatever period you have. Then your last name and then the part. Because I realized that I have some students with the same last name in different classes. So this way I can make sure that I know exactly whose file is whose. Okay. So, in Inventor, we're going to choose a part. And I might go through this a little bit quicker than I would if I was live, just because this is a video and you can pause it whenever you want and rewind if you miss something. All right. So, like I said before, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Save as zero lion, and then this is part C4. So, and then you would save. Okay. Now we're going to start our 2D sketch. And looking at this part, it looks like I'm going to sketch the top view because that's the area, that's the view that you can see it the clearest. If you look at your front and your side view, you can't really tell exactly what shape it is. So I'm going to choose this plane, my XZ plane. And since the top view, I'm going to rotate it so the top is now the correct way up. And instead of the rectangle tool, we're going to be using the line tool. So select that. I'm going to begin at the origin. So again, snap to the origin. All right. So now can make a line in any direction, okay? But if you get close to vertical, it'll snap vertical and you'll see that little icon pop up. Or if you go horizontal, it'll snap and you'll see that icon pop up. Now, I know I need to be about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go around an inch and a half and it's 90 degrees. So I'm gonna click again. And now I'm gonna go horizontally and this is going to be two and a quarter degrees so okay, and again it's at 90 degrees okay. I know this is going to be about 0.75 so it's at 90 degrees right there this is going to be about an inch and a half so that looks good right there now say you make a mistake and instead of 90 degrees you did it at an angle Okay, so I'll show you how to fix that. So if I click there, now to finish my sketch, I need to go back to my origin. So it turns green and I click. Now you can see I'm no longer drawing lines and I can start to put some dimensions on here. So I'm gonna dimension this line first. Okay, so I clicked once, move it over, click a second time, and this is gonna be 1.5. And check mark. Then I'm going to dimension this line right here. Click on the line, move it up a little bit, click a second time, and this will be 2.25. Okay. So now this line right here, I'm going to move it out a little bit, and this will be 0.75. Okay. And if I look at my drawing, the only other measurement I have is this one right here, 0.75. So if I go and put that dimension down, 0.75, okay. Now, it makes it close, but it's still not a nice 90 degree angle here. Okay. So this is one of the few times that we're going to use one of these small buttons. Okay. So this button right here where there's a line coming in at a 90 degree angle to another line, this is the perpendicular constraint. So you probably heard the word perpendicular in your math class and it means at a right angle. So if I click that, so now that's highlighted, any two edges I now click on will become right angles. 
So for example, if I click this line and this line, it'll make this angle a right angle. So click and click. Okay. Now it says, okay, now I need this to be a right angle. Well, actually, or this so from here to here, there. So you can see by making those two angles 90 degrees, if I zoom out, okay, I can see everything is black now. So I finished my sketch and I'll zoom out again. And if I go back to my drawing, it looks like it's extruded 0.75 inches. So I'm going to go to my extrude button. And instead of the default one inches, I'm going to put 0.75. Okay. And then you would click save to save your file. 